For the past few months or so, I've been toying around with the idea of switching my main gaming PC over to a Linux gaming PC and just leaving Windows behind forever. Now, the reason why I'm doing this is because Windows 11 is just not something I want to switch to. And honestly, Linux to me is just the next viable option. Now, the reason why I have both of these PCs here on top of this table is I had a completely different idea for this video. And honestly, it just went south. What I did was I took my RX 580 out of here and put it into my main PC and took the GTX 1080 out of here and put it into my son's PC. Now, while his is getting great performance, mine with the RX 580 is not getting that good a performance or as much performance as I would like. Now, the reason behind that is the AMD GPUs tend to work better on Linux than Nvidia GPUs historically. But since then, since I switched them over and started doing some benchmarks so I can compare games in Windows and in Linux, I have found out and done a little research and found out that my GPU, my GTX 1080, would be just fine in Linux. And my overall consensus with it of using the GTX 1080 inside of Linux for a little while, um, before I actually started making this channel, I was using Linux, I had zero issues with it. So with that research, I've decided to go back to my GTX 1080 inside of my main PC and take the risk of using those proprietary NVIDIA drivers. Now, I have no issues using proprietary drivers in my Linux PCs, as some people do with the free and open source community. I take no issue at all with using proprietary drivers, depending on what they are. Now, graphics drivers, okay, that's fine. But certain other programs, I'm not gonna be using those in my uh, Linux gaming PC at all. So I figured while I'm doing some work and swapping out these GPUs, I'd make a video on why I decided to switch to Linux to begin with. Now my main concern is that Windows 11 honestly sucks. I do not want to use Windows 11. I don't like the performance metrics I'm seeing about it. I do not want to stick with another proprietary um, OS that just bottlenecks everything and just wants you to do one thing the, their way and the only way. I kind of want the option or the choice to do what I want with my PC and actually own my PC instead of my PC owning me or Microsoft owning my PC. That's the big fundamental idea behind it since Linux is free and open source. Free as in freedom and free as in money as well. So I've decided, that didn't sound good. So I've decided to switch my main PC, my main rig over to Linux for that reason. I'm just not a fan of Windows to begin with. I'm not a fan of the random shutdowns and startups and just all the forced updates that they want you to do. But the thing with Linux is you have the freedom of choice. You, have, you actually have the freedom to update your system if you want to, or just leave it the way it is. If everything's working fine, just leave it there. Don't touch it, it's perfect. And that's what I like about Linux. I remember myself back in the you know, late, early 90s, uh, mid 90s, when I had my Commodore 64 and I was learning to use BASIC for the first time. That's what I feel like when I use Linux. It just brings me back to those days. And honestly, I like computing for computing. I like computing for gaming as well. Like I like that, but I like to be able to tinker and mess around with things. and make things my own. That's what the whole thing with me is. I like to make things my own. And Linux just allows me to do that. TPM is kind of annoying with Windows 11 and the need for it. And I'm not a big fan of that. So I've decided to switch over to Linux completely. And honestly, I couldn't be happier. I am dying to see what the game performance is between Windows and Linux. And I just hope that with Linux, I get a little bit better game performance as many people have touted in the past before. Now I'm going to be looking at different distros. I, get, I might stick, stick with the Arch distro, mostly because of my peripheral, um, peripherals that I have. Rather, I have my Logitech G920 keyboard, I have my Corsair Scimitar Pro mouse that I'd like to use, and other peripherals like my, maybe some VR headsets and stuff like that that may not work too well in other Linux distributions like a Debian-based uh, dist distro like Ubuntu or Pop! OS, even though Pop! OS it might actually work. But needless to say, I'm going to be documenting every little bit of this journey, and it's gonna be my Linux gaming journey, and I hope you guys actually really do enjoy this, and hopefully, maybe follow along with me as we explore this together. So I'm probably gonna be distro hopping for a little bit, just get my feet wet back in Linux, and just get used to Linux as a whole operating system once again, and just discover it all over again. It's gonna be a fun, exciting thing that I'm planning on doing that I would like to do, and I cannot wait to bring you guys along on this journey. So. As I go ahead and button up our PCs, the swap has been complete. GPUs are now in their respective systems again. 
And the only caveat to this whole thing is this system is going to be staying a Windows system as I work out all the little kinks and the little nuances of Linux and seeing what works, what my hardware is compatible, what's not compatible, uh, what I have to do differently in order to get that stuff working on my main Linux PC since I will not be going back to Windows on this PC at all. So this one's gonna stay Windows just for the growing pains and all that stuff. But this is only the beginning of our Linux gaming journey together. Both GPUs have been swapped out, the GTX 1080 being inside of our main Linux gaming rig, paired with a 3800X and 32 gigs of RAM inside of this lovely Corsair 5000D Airflow case. I love this case, guys. If you go in the market for a new case, 5000D. Best case I've ever built in hands down. Part two of this series is going to be coming out relatively soon. And it's going to be all about picking the correct Linux distribution for your use case, which for us is going to be, of course, Linux gaming. So if there's any distribution you guys would like me to check out, sound off down in the comment section below. I'd be glad to check them out, test them out, and maybe even use your suggestions inside of my gaming PC. But until next time, guys, I'm Joshua at Fort of Love Games, signing out. Have a great day.